In this video, we'll take a look at the fractions 1 half minus 1 third. So 1 over 2 minus 1 over 3, what's the fraction value that we end up with? To do that, what we need to do is get a common denominator. That's the number on the bottom. So I know if I write the multiples of 2, 2, 4, 6, and then 3. We have 3, 6, 9, but 6 right here. That is common between 2 and 3. So that's the lowest common multiple. If I can get this to be 6 and this to be 6, I can just subtract the numerators. I can do that by multiplying by 1. But instead of 1, I'm going to multiply 3 times 2, because that'll give me the 6. But I have to multiply the top and bottom by 3. That way, 3 divided by 3, that's just multiplying by 1. I don't change the value. Over here, 3 times 2, that gives me 6. But again, I have to multiply the top by 2 as well, so I'm just multiplying by 1. But now we have 3 times 1 is 3 over 3 times 2. That's 6 minus 1 times 2. That's 2. 3 times 2 is 6. We have the same denominator. So I can just subtract 3 minus 2. That gives me 1. I bring the 6 across. 1 half minus 1 third. That gives us 1 sixth. This is Dr. B looking at the difference between one half and one third. Thanks for watching.